Hello guys, this is Iftakar Ahmed speaking. In this video, I will try to derive the Laplacian operator for spherical coordinates. You can see here we have a function of x, y, z. Um, Laplacian operator is acting on this function and we can write this uh, like this form. This is the Cartesian form of the Laplacian operator. Uh, but we are going to try to convert this into the spherical form which is much more complicated as you can see. Uh, it will it will take some effort, uh, but uh, I will try my best uh, to um, break down everything and derive from scratch. So I will try try not to skip any of the topics. Uh, so wish me luck. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the video. Uh, we have the relation between Cartesian and uh, polar coordinates. Uh, I mean spherical coordinates. So we have an uh, we have a position vector over here. So we can write the position vector like this in Cartesian form. Just like that. So we use the definition of x, y, and z over here, which is r sine theta cos phi and this is the unit vector along x direction now now we uh, try to derive the expression for the uh, un uh, unit vectors along the spherical coordinates uh, like r theta and phi so the change of the position vector uh, the rate of change of the position vector along the uh, r axis in spherical coordinates will give us a vector and if we divide by its magnitude we will get the unit vector uh, along r direction so let's do this uh, the change in r respect to r i know the notation is uh, a little bit weird this is the position vector and this is the parameter r uh, we are trying to get uh, another vector which is pointing um, at the um, r direction and that is uh, a unit vector so we need to divide this by its magnitude um, now now let's me let me explain what am i what have i done over here um, here is the position vector okay and if it starts to move like this somehow then it will um, say it's increasing in length um, it's increasing in r direction r direction is over here theta direction is over there and phi is over here so it's in increasing in r direction also so if we calculate the rate of change in r direction then we will have another vector at r direction okay because it's a vector and it's a changing vector if we calculate the change in a certain direction we will get a direction vector over here uh, which is this one if we take um, the magnitude and divide it we will get the unit vector we are searching for and this unit vector is corresponding to the r r unit vector um, to point a point to be note note a point to be noticed this r is not the same as this r this is position vector and this is the unit vector along r direction okay so let's calculate the uh, partial r uh, i mean partial of position vector respect to the radius uh, radius i guess we can call it radius radius parameter okay then um, we will differentiate r respect to r 
r is the position vector here we will differentiate the position vector respect to this r then we will get sin theta cos phi x plus sin theta sin phi y cap cos theta z cap so if we are respecting uh, yeah what i was trying to say that uh, we are partially differentiating the position vector respect to parameter r so we have an r here so everything else will be constant so if we uh, differentiate r respect to r we will get one so i have not written one over here so this is the result of that differentiation now we can calculate the magnitude we can take sine square theta common then we are left with cos square theta cos square phi plus sine square phi which is 1 then we are left with sine square theta plus cos square theta so the result is 1 so so our unit vector becomes we have the derivative then uh, divided by its magnitude but magnitude big uh, the value of the magnitude uh, was 1 and we find, found the derivative which is this term over here so we take this term copy copy this term and put it over here so we got we have got our um, let me fix these lines first we have got our first unit vector along our direction similarly we will find um, the unit vector along theta direction so we are taking the partial derivative of the position vector respect to theta and taking uh, dividing it by its magnitude okay so we are differentiating this this term respect to theta then we are getting um, sine theta will become cos theta and here uh, sine theta will again become cos theta and cos theta will become minus sine theta so we are getting we are getting R, uh, R cos theta cos phi x cap plus R cos theta sin phi y cap minus R sin theta z cap then we Okay, uh, I was just cleaning up this mess. So, we have the uh, vector along the theta direction, rate of change of uh, the position vector along theta direction. Uh, 
and now we want to take the magnitude let's take the magnitude r square cos square theta cos phi cos square phi plus r square cos square theta sin square theta plus r square sin square theta then uh, we have r outside then we can um, get a cos theta cos square theta common and then this term will uh, no I, I guess uh, I'm, I have made a mistake this is phi uh, this is phi then these two terms will cancel Hmm. then we have sine square theta then this term will also become 1 then we we will uh, be left with just r we have just r over here so magnitude of uh, this vector is r so let me uh, clean this up a little bit Okay, we have cleaned up now the theta the unit vector along theta direction is cos theta cos phi x cap plus cos theta sin phi y minus r sin theta divided by r so every r will get cancelled then we are gonna be uh, left with this is the expression for the unit vector along theta direction okay similarly we are going to find out the phi unit vector uh, which is uh, partial of the position vector respect to phi then the magnitude of that vector we're going to calculate this uh, the similar way we did uh, for r and theta we're going to differentiate the position vector respect to phi so we will get minus r sine theta sine phi x cap plus r sine theta cos phi y cap and there's no um, phi term in the uh, coefficient of uh, z cap so the if we differentiate uh, that's going to become zero so let's not write that now let's calculate the magnitude So we can take r outside and sin theta also outside then we are going to left with sin square plus cos square phi uh, that is 1 we are not going to write that also so the coefficient is uh, r sin theta so we are going to divide our um, vector which we have okay so, uh, we have made a mistake okay where is the vector vector uh, here is our vector we are going to divide this by r sin theta so we will get minus r sin theta uh, will get cancel out and we will uh, we 
we will left with uh, sin phi x cap plus uh, cos phi y cap that's the result so let me write down what we have so far we have the position vector along the r direction what am i saying i'm saying uh, wrong and this is the unit vector along r direction which is sin theta cos phi x plus sin theta sin phi y plus cos theta z cap then we got the unit vector along theta direction which is cos theta cos phi x cap plus cos theta sin phi y cap plus oh, I mean minus uh, sin theta z cap then we have the unit vector along uh, phi direction which is minus sin theta uh, sin phi x cap plus cos phi y cap okay uh, we can uh, make a box out of this let me use another color we will use this later okay we are going to give this equation a name uh, say this one is equation 1 this one is equation 2 and this one is equation 3 in the next lecture I am going to um, derive some expressions uh, for further calculations uh, so please subscribe this channel and click the bell icon so you can get the uh, another physics video I will um, keep trying to uh, post physics videos in this channel uh, thanks for watching